I was put in the orphanage when I was four years old. I've never had a dad. My mom never was married, and so she left me when I was nine years old. Some of them never in their lives had someone give them a hug. You was born, but nobody really knows that you are in this world and you are existing and nobody really cares about you. I was hoping that my father would come back and take me back home. The teachers, they started to beat us and call us bad words. They said that we have no future. They just decided not to take, not to take care of us and to leave us to grow just in the orphanage and then when we are 16, to go out and live our lives. At 16, a girl is given 400 lei, about $30, and a bus ticket to wherever she comes from and is sent away. And they are on the streets for, for monsters to get them and sell them. Over 450,000 women have disappeared from this country that they, they don't know where they've gone. I was kidnapped and taken across the Adriatic Sea in a high-speed boat. Sex trafficking, it's this country's number one export. We've seen girls being sold as little as $1,500. Uh, a man came to me and he said, you have to pay me the money back because I paid for you. You were sold to me and he beat me and he put me in a dark room with rats. They are raped and beaten mercilessly. And by the time they get to where they're gonna be actually working, they are so beaten and so broken that they stand there without any emotions and they sell themselves. I was brutally used 30 to 50 times a day. This is bigger than drugs. It's safer than drugs. Because a little girl, once she's beaten, won't fight back. There's a handicapped girl called Stella, paralyzed on the right-hand side of her body. I says, Unde Stella? And they says, uh, Morit. I says, Morit? And I knew enough Romanian, that means dead. And I says, dead? Da. And I said, how? Hiv, HIV. And they put this handicapped girl out with no skills, no way to live, Men had taken her and used her until they killed her. And it's so, it so destroyed my heart. I, I, I still can't get over, and I can't imagine how she died. And I said, God, I will make a commitment to you that we will make a bed available for every girl in Moldova that needs somewhere to come. And we called it Stella's house. And we, filled it immediately from the girls from Kapkui. I remember my first day in Stella's house. We came for a visit, and when we came in, everyone smiled and hugged us and loved on us, and that was the first time when we felt welcome somewhere. They had my first hug, and for the first time, he told us, we love you. It felt like a family from the first time I walked in and I could feel something that I could never explain there. I could feel that I'm safe and I'm loved there and I'm in a family finally. It's worse than I ever imagined it would be, you know, and I mean, we've, we've done this for a long time and we've done a lot of work in Romania and stuff with Moldova and what we've seen in Moldova just, I mean, the conditions here are, you know, are really, really, really bad. After we'd inspected the windows, the director took us out. And on a park bench, there was 18 girls sitting there. They just finished painting their rooms and they were covered in paint. And he said, they all must go. And I looked and I says, what, what do you mean? He says, they're finished, they're gone. And in Stella's one, we had a classroom that could take three beds. And that day we had the horrendous job of picking three out of 18 and letting 15 slip away. Of the 15, we found one. The rest, we have no idea where they are. If it wasn't for Stella's house, I just... I don't know where I've been today. 
I don't know who I was, probably I would never know about God and I would be somewhere trafficked like other girls. A young girl is trafficked by these sex traffickers. One girl, one girl will make over $300,000 for her captors. One girl. More profitable than the drug trade, one girl. It will cost us that amount of money to finish this house. One girl is worth that to the traffickers. The question I have to ask is this. Are 25 girls worth that to the church? Hey everyone, this is John Shua, Defender of the Platypus People at Your Service, and I know there's been a surplus of serious videos lately, but I promise my next video is going to be something really cool, and I'll be myself again. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, today uh, I went to my Wednesday night service, and I have to admit, it was a really moving experience for me, because I don't know if you know this, but my channel is actually... Uh, has a bit of a sponsor, has a lot of links to sponsors for stuff like stopping bullying, helping out, uh, adoption, uh, adopt a pet sale shelters. But, uh, the number one that I was, uh, I think I really got, I, the one I actually really got permission to do was Stella's Voice, which is an organization for orphanage, for an orphanage that is really cool, devoted to God. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of these people, I don't know how well known they are. Um, but it's a really interesting organization. So a couple years ago, I talked to one of the people who worked there, and I promised them that I would support them on my YouTube channel, and I really, it's not that I didn't, I just didn't support them like I guess I should have. So tonight, uh, let me check something, sorry, I had to make sure the microphone was on the right setting. Um, so tonight, I went to my uh, church service, and uh, in the sanctuary, these uh, these guys uh, brought out. Um, well, this one man got up on stage. So this man came up on stage and started introducing all these little girls. Uh, well, not little. A lot of them were like 18 over. Um, very sweet girls, and they were all. Uh, they're not American. They didn't really speak any English. So he brought them all up, introduced them all. They all had really interesting stories to share. Uh, I know this is kind of a long... I'm trying to keep this short, guys. I just want to give you a full explanation as to what is going on. So. So, some of these girls presented their story. Uh, and it was actually... I got a little misty-eyed. Shut up. <laughs> um, and so, it was really emotional for just a lot of people. Uh, I mean, this one girl had just... I mean, uh, they were really pretty girls, too. Of course, you know, I don't really think of anyone as ugly. But they just had the prettiest little smiles. Um, and believe it or not, this one girl said that before she came to Stella's voice, she had never smiled in her life, and I think she said that she would, she cried a lot, and so just to imagine a life where, I think, I, maybe misquoting her, but I think she said that in the house she used to live in, she would wake up crying, and I want you, I, like, this made me look at my, I would think you might want to try this too, look at, uh, I, I looked at my life and I thought, is, I mean, I think of all the times I've just been stressed out, and I'm like, oh, my life, oh. And I think to myself, how bad must their life have been if they wake up every day crying? That is just, wow. I mean, it's something to think about. And it really makes you analyze a lot. So, I felt bad. I really did. And right now, they're trying to build a house. Two houses, actually. One's Simon's house, one is Stella's house. And they're both for boys and girls who have been abandoned. So, it's not just girls, if that's what you're thinking. It's geared toward guys, too. Um... And, uh, it's really, really, uh, like, it's a really big project, and it's, I think they said it's cost them, or it's going to cost them, like, $1.1 million or something, um, and they're really stressed out about it, and so, after the service was over, I went up and talked to the man up there, and, uh, who had presented them all, and believe it or not, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, uh, heard of this guy, but I started talking to him, uh, and I, 
uh, this man was actually Philip Cameron, and he, if you don't already know, I believe he's the uh, kind of the leader of the whole Stella's Voice organization. I had no idea really at the time who I was talking to, so I finally just looked him up. Well, I kind of did, but like when I looked it up, I mean, I was really, uh, I mean, you know, this guy really did seem to be kind of, I wasn't too sure if he was the founder of it, but from what I understand, he was kinda, he was pretty much like the whole leader of this whole thing, which is really impressive. I really was just, I was very thrilled to meet this man. So I, I uh, after the service was over, I went straight to him and I said, listen, um, I, pro- I want you to know that I am going to try to support you on my YouTube channel that I devote to God, and he was very happy to hear this, and he told me that uh, it was completely okay, he actually gave me someone to talk to, but I couldn't pronounce their name for the life of me, or remember it, I feel bad now, uh, but I didn't, uh, so I, I, I didn't find them, but I'll probably like look it up sometime soon and talk to him about that. So this is where the video gets interesting for all of you stuck around. Uh, Stella's voice needs a uh, voice, definitely. And they have a lot of donators. Uh, definitely some people at the church uh, signed a $1 a day thing uh, on their, their uh, these little certificates. I didn't because uh, I'm not financially strong, so I don't know if I could afford even a whole year uh, uh, right now. Um, but here's the thing. In order to make up for that, I am going to make what is going to be called Stella's Week. And this will start, let me just check, right about from, uh, from December, uh, let's see, December hmm, 17th to the 24th. This will be my official, uh, big whatever you want to call it I don't know and I will uh, it'll be my big Stella's voice week and I will do this every year um I might even see about doing maybe a uh, some fundraisers I'm thinking I don't know this I'm gonna try and get like a whole group of people together and then broadcast me put up like I don't know I'll try to get some people in my town invested maybe put up some ads on the internet I don't know try to get a donation stream going for this organization um, maybe that's a big maybe um, I don't know I'm still thinking about that uh, and another thing I'm probably gonna do some fundraisers though uh, I'm definitely gonna do some videos though for Stella's week like maybe two videos a day devoted just to that organization, maybe do an audio reading of their book, uh, so that way you guys can actually um, get the full idea of what they're about. And I would do it now, but it's just kind of weird. But I do know that uh, a lot of time, I mean, Christmas is a really good time to do this, I think, because, you know, Christmas is the season of giving, um, season of happiness, and it's a re I think it's a great, great idea to just do that around Christmas. So I'm going to work my tail off, which is great, because that's right around where my exam, my uh, exams are for the midterm. Yay! And I, I'm going to do my best, guys. I can't guarantee... I, I don't ex I'm not going to ask you to donate money, okay? But I might do stuff like uh, giveaways, I guess. Um, I'll, I, I don't know. I might make, like, fundraisers or something. I don't know. And I'm not deliberately asking you guys to donate. I want you to understand. I want you guys to, like, maybe, if you can, help me get the word out. I want you guys to, like, once I post these kind of videos, I want you guys, if you can, just to tell your friends, hey, this guy's doing a thing. Or do your own fundraisers, you know. Do so I want us to build a... Stella's voice donation, and we don't have to do it right away. We can take our sweet time with this guy, so it doesn't mess with anything. I understand if you're not eager to do it right away. Trust me, I was not thinking to myself, I'm gonna do this when I get home, even though I'm, I literally just got home a little while ago and now I'm recording this. Uh, I am such a. I am just. I'm trying to. I. I can't. Words. Um. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I mean, it really would mean a lot to me if, if you if, if you stuck around this whole time and listened to this whole thing from start to finish. It means a lot, guys, and I appreciate it. I just hope, guys, that you'll um, you'll understand where I'm coming from here. And you know, like I said, you don't have to give money, but help me spread the word a little bit. You know, I you um 
at least help me get the word out there to uh, to just everyone, because I want a lot more people to understand about this, and we have the power of the internet! Hooray! So anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. You guys are really cool, and I cannot uh, thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I uh, love you guys, and I will see you in the next video! Blah, blah. Oh, and stay tuned. Alright. Ah, my flash drive. Ah, my other flash drive.